Tinker CAD friends, today we're going to play with code blocks and I'm going to show you how to animate your 3D designs. So let's get cracking. We're going to start today from the Tinker CAD gallery. Make sure you have staff picks on and you need to find this sweet spiral zoetrope with motor. Now when you get to this, it is a normal Tinker CAD design. Instead of the normal design, you need to come down here and find the code blocks design. When you click on it, it takes you to the real code blocks creation by Geometry C. Friends, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give it a reaction before you copy and tinker. Now, I'm not going to teach you all of code blocks. I'm just going to teach you some of code blocks. I'm going to make this a little larger. I'm going to zoom in on the code. I'm going to scroll in on the code. Real quickly, these are variables. They are amazing because of these set commands at the end of the loop. The variables grow each time the loop restarts. This lets you make amazing things. Real quickly, let's bump up the speed and let me show you what this looks like. I am going to make this stretch out a little longer so it's easier to see the entire creation. As you can see on the left, the loop is moving through the code and the blocks move out and get smaller with every iteration. As you can see, this is that fun design that was spinning and growing on my screen. Friends, I'm gonna show you how to make it another awesome sculpture that is more vertical by just changing a little bit of code. So there is the awesome project it almost maxed out the system. As you can see, it had 196 primitives, and if you get to 200, it will break it, so be careful adding code. But watch this. If we just take the move and change it to the Z direction, and we lock exit 15, when we hit reset and play, we get another amazing, cool project in just a few moments. As it's going by, you can see the new size is 1% smaller than it was. It also increments the move with new size divided by 20. It adjusts the roll and it adjusts the hue as it makes this awesome little project. Of course, we're going to animate this, but I also want to make the colors different. Check this out. If I set the hue to change by 2 and simply hit play again, it rebuilds, but now this time it does a little bit different color scheme. You could also change your starting hue by putting a different number up here. You do want to keep the rotation angle the same. That is part of the trick is that the illusion happens because of the amount of roll that is included in our project. Bingo, another fun one. So friends, that is how code blocks works. If you want to learn more about code blocks, make sure you check the cards in this video. I have got several tutorials that are great for beginners. Right now though, I want to animate this with the new SimLab motors. Let me show you how to make that happen. Simply hit export. Choose shape. Give it a name. I'm going to call this vase. You can add tags. I never lock the part size. And then we simply save the shape. At that point, it'll be available in our other Tinkercad projects. So now we can return to the Tinkercad desktop. We can choose Create, and this time it's going to be a 3D design. I'm going to name it Animated Vase. And then we are going to simply move over to Your Creations. And here is our fun part. You can see I've done it a couple times. Once it shows up, I can bring it in. With our part in place, friends, now we can switch to the SimLab tools. We want the fantastic axle. When we bring the axle out, select those two parts. Do L for a line, make the vase the boss. We want to choose center, and then I always like to look at this from the corner of the view cube and choose center. That way we're sure it's right in the middle. Notice it matches that pin. Now we need to grab this handle and connect it to the vase. Up here we can now turn on the motor. Notice we set the power to the max, 170. And I'm going to tell you a good speed to start out with is 25 and press enter. Note it shows us how it's going to animate, but we have to click on SimLab to actually animate it. It takes a moment for all that fancy geometry to become real. Make sure you're patient waiting for it to snap. Friends, we can hit play 
and we have got a fantastic animated project, but we don't have the cool special effect. Friends, to make that happen, simply hit reset and adjust the motor speed from 25 to 312. Make sure you press enter. You'll see the little animation. And then when you hit play, check that out. Friends, it is just an optical illusion, but it is absolutely mesmerizing. You can check it out from every angle. And of course, because it is a SimLab project, you can also pause and hit share. When you click this button, it is a recording of your entire project. And you can move over here, pick your different formats, pick the quality you want, either low or high quality, and you can instantly create your very own video or even save images of your project. While you're in here, you can zoom out, find the exact angle you want, and it is a fantastic way to share your awesome projects with the world. I'm gonna back out to this screen again, and I'm gonna back out to the main screen again. Friends, I wanna send a huge shout out to Geometry C for sharing this awesome Tinkercad project, and I wanna give a shout out to Tinkercad for adding the awesome motors so that now we can create moving things using Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I do have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below there, you will find my class, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything, but I do want to highlight at the bottom is a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any class at cadclass.org. You can visit that site by simply clicking visit now. I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Don't forget also there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.